Join me right now on Kumite Radio, Sumit Kade. He is the Super Fight League superstar. What's going on, Sumit? But welcome back. Uh, thank you so much. Nice to meet you again. And I'm really excited to give you again the interview for my upcoming match. For sure. Um, Superhuman MMA. It is your team in India. Am I right? Yeah, superhuman, yeah, superhuman team. Can you talk yeah. about the growth of the gym and its facilities? Yes, exactly. Uh, so we have India's largest MMA gym, and it's in the state of Karnataka. It's in a town called Manipal, and we have really good setup for like, fighters we have the cage the jujitsu arena the kickboxing for the functional training and really like a really in a good way they have done the setup even they have the cafeteria and you know i think that place is gonna be like a future mma you can say hub of india you can say like that how much of an impact has Superhuman had on your career? Oh, so I think because of uh, the Superhuman team, uh, I have joined with my manager, like almost like it's been four years. I'm working with uh, Somesh Kamra, he's my manager. And then we, he formed a superhuman, you know, like a team. And you, I'm like a co-fighter of the superhuman team. So, and because of the gym, really work out, really in a performance way. And you can say through, you know, getting the fights into the fights. So I think it really worked out for me. Almost like you can say, a lot like 100 percent workout for me before your amazing run during yeah. the second season of super fight league earlier this year you were on a two fight losing streak rumors there were some rumors right that the promotion yeah. they were very hesitant to bring you back is that true exactly yes exactly they were like thinking to get me back into the ring and i was like I really, I work hard, you know, I train hard. I know after the fighters know after the losing streak, what is your like mentality, like, you know, where it goes. But I just train hard, train hard, train hard every time. And then they are saying like, they are confused to give me fight or not. And finally, I, I said like, just give me one fight, you know, I will prove you. Like, give me any one, like, any one fighter. I don't mind. So, they have given me and they were not confident about me when I, when I had my first fight in the second season. But I proved them wrong and I feel, like, really happy after that knockout, the first knockout. Definitely. You went on and you won three fights in three weeks. One of your knockouts... I think your second knockout, it went viral. Do they still talk to you about it right now? Of course, yeah, because everyone knows, like, you know, like because of that uh, video. So right now I'm in a Tiger Muay Thai in the Thailand. So there are a lot of friends of mine and, you know, they like talk like, hey, this is the guy who done the knockout. <laughs> and really like, he snapped the kick. And... Like, you know, when I go in a gym, always, like, they just, like, they know me now, like, you know, like, as a fighter, like, like, the people knows about me, like, a little bit, like, oh, he's an Indian fighter who, who is a really good striker, the knockout, always, like, really, like, the people knows over here now, the, so I'm really happy that, that that I'm in a, like a, in another level, I got in a one more, 
one step ahead <laughs> what I used to be. Definitely must feel really good to be able to be recognized for what you do professionally. Yes, exactly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, you know what? So, so after that knockout, you know, it went viral all over the world and the people were start like, you know, following me and the people start liking me the way I do the, you know, like a strike and where I fight. So now they are like more excited for my upcoming fights. Like they have a lot of hopes from me, like looking as an Indian fighter raising, you know, like going ahead. So a lot of hopes from, from, uh, from the like a following, you can say like a followers or friends, family, everyone. Yeah. You are probably the most recognizable Indian fighter in the world, I believe. I <laughs> I don't know about that, but yeah, the people know me like as a really good Indian fighter and I feel really good when they when they know about me. So I don't say like, you know, yeah, but recognize like an Indian fighter. There are a lot of lot of fighters, but they know me so it's like really like it's like a you can say like a proud like a some moment like you know like people knows the fighter knows the coaches knows so it is really good thing last august you won a national award for your contributions in sports tell us about this achievement and what it means to you oh uh, so yeah the national award is for I got for the sport contribution in the MMA and they were looking for the, you know, like a fighter who contributed really in a good way and, you know, like really work hard and they like call me like, you know, we think like, I, uh, we think like we um, like committee decided to give you award for the sports in MMA. So I was like, yeah, like, you know, I was so happy. Like I'm doing some contributing for India sports MMA. And it, it, it is really like, you know, like unpredictable. Like you can say unbelievable. Like I have not believed like I will get some national award for MMA sports and really proud movement there were a lot of people from different different backgrounds and i got the award and it was like really proud movement for me and for mma sports in india after super fight league was over you were rumored to have signed with acb what happened with that situation yeah yeah, uh, yeah i was really prepared for the acb after the one month and you know um, the guy was, uh, he was like a 13 wing two losses and he was a grappler and, you know, good grappler, really like a black, a brown belt or black belt, I don't know. And, you know, I was like, really like, I did call me like, they told like, you want to fight with this guy? uh Tobin and you know he's a good he, he's a, like a good fighter and I was like yes yeah I'm excited and and after that I don't know what happened they have not replied me like they have replied me like a twice right then they they have my manager mailed him that they have not replied and I was like man I was so prepared. like let's take this shot I don't know what happened all right, now you are currently, like you said, you're in Phuket training for your upcoming fight at Kumite One League yeah. on September 29th. Why did you decide to go out there for your preparations? So I was like, after my Super Fight League, I was a little bit getting busy in the work, like, you know, a uh, little bit in the work, but I want like a full attention. I want trying to want to focus like a fully, like dedicatedly, nothing distraction. Mm -hmm. So I think like a Phuket 
Tiger Mota is the best place to go and train and, you know, mentally focus and you can prepare for your fight camp. So I decided to come over here to sharp my tools, to learn some new skills and, you know, to raise my performance level up. So that's why I decided to come over here. How has your training been? And what does your weekly routine look like? So the training is good. They have the whole schedule. So they have like a more schedule, the grappling schedule, strength and conditioning schedule, wrestling, then kickboxing, everything. So I usually make one week of schedule. So where I have to work. So in the second week, I work on a little bit push hard. Now third week, it's like more about, you know, like agility, more like endurance and more about techniques. And, you know, like I will go a little bit hard. So usually in a day, I, I, I try to attend the three session. So one session is for one and a half hour. So one I do like a, some technique session and one like a little bit hard session, tough session. Hard means like MMA sparring, the wrestling. These are the hard session. So I do like a one in morning, like a kickboxing techniques or you can say grappling, you know, rolling and all. And evening, the wrestling, and then a little bit go on the pad work or something like that sort of. Your opponent has not been publicly revealed. Could you give us a clue of who it is? Oh yeah, so there was a lot of discussion going on on my opponent for India versus UAE is happening. So when they called me, like, you know, like they were searching for me as an opponent. And I was like, okay, I'm ready, like, you know, with anyone. But they are not finding any, like, like UAE. There are a lot of UAE fighters, but with the promotion, with the type, it's a little bit, like, uh, it's not too, mu too many fighters. So they have given me, I'm really surprised, like, you know, to tell you, but they have given me Fazl Rabi. He's an Afghanistani and he trains in India, in Bangalore. So he fought once in a YFC with a Nelson Pace, who I fought with him before in the SFL with the Nelson Pace. And uh, he won the fight, and he done a lot of amateurs fights too. So you know they told like you are opponent is one zero. What the, what is your view? I was like you know such like you know who has like a little bit of my you know my record of thing like. But they are saying we don't have like now like your record you know and what the matchmaker thinks if it's like your height like everything match up it's not like every like so they told like this is a guy you know he he is like way and he's much better like reach at your level so you like i said i don't have any option whether he has any you know, just ask him, like, if he's, has, if he's ready, I'm ready. I don't have, just give me anyone, like, I don't care. Like, I just want to fight. I just want to fight, 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 fight. Going into K1L, what are your expectations okay. of yourself? So K1L is happening first time, and it's Mumbai in my city, and I'm really excited. So, I will give my best performance. Of course, I want to give because I am in a three strike win and I can't, you know, like make myself down. I need to up. That's why I, I came in Phuket and for the training and I want to train hard, you know, as much I can do. Like, just I want to raise my performance bar. So, that's why my intention would be like straight like performance that's it all right Sumit. um 
Thank you for your time. September 29th in Mumbai, Kumute won league. He will be part of Team India. Thank you and yeah. uh, good luck in your fight. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it, man.